Hello and welcome to part 7 in a series of videos showing you how to set up a Windows XP computer. My name is Greg Johnson and this is part of the training video series from resourcesforlife.com. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here on the computer that we're using uh, for this series of videos and show you I am on a page here at Microsoft Support um, that is support.microsoft.com forward slash kb forward slash 322389 and to make a long story short, basically the computer I'm setting up here is kind of kind of an older vintage. It has Windows XP Service Pack 1. And what I'm going to try to do is see if um, I can go ahead and jump to Service Pack 2 and then on to Service Pack 3. So uh, I'm going to click here for Service Pack 2. And that takes me to another page, but what we're being told from Microsoft is that you just cannot get Windows updates if you don't have the latest service pack, which seems kind of counterproductive, but whatever. So I'm going to save this 260-some uh, megabyte update to the desktop, which hopefully will get me from Windows Service Pack 1 to Windows Service Pack 2. You can see here that uh, there's about 8 minutes left in this download. So what I'm going to do is stop the video and when the downloads complete I'll come back and we'll keep going. So now going forward in time there are just a few seconds left of this download and once that's completed we will go ahead and um, start the installation of Windows XP Service Pack 2 using this manual download. Now as an IT uh, tech support person one thing you'll want to do along the way is because it takes a little while sometimes to find these drivers and then to download them and then eventually maybe they're not available because you know Microsoft is ex is uh, canceling their support of Windows XP so um, you may want to go ahead and save these on a memory stick or a CD or something just for future reference. I'm going to close this window out. Let me just zoom out here and get out of all these screens took me a little while to find that downloadable service pack too but uh, anyway we'll give this a try this was what came from the Microsoft website somebody was asking me today why I use an Apple computer and I said uh, that I I do sometimes play around with Windows computers just because I find it intriguing I've been using Windows for uh, oh, probably 20 years well 10 years I guess um, Anyway, and uh, but as as a, a practical application for day to day work, you know nobody's got time to spend hours and hours and hours downloading drivers and installing updates and doing all this stuff. You know, an Apple computer installs from one disk. All the drivers are there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, now I recognize that some retail computers. Uh, I'm just going to comment here. Also, I'm just clicking next on this. Windows XP Service Pack 2 and I'm going to click Agree and click Next and let that walk through its process. Um, you know certainly there are some res uh, retail computers that have a restore partition so when you restore the computer you can just restore it to its like new store-bought state. That's great as long as the hard drive hasn't crashed. If the hard drive's crashed then you're out of luck. Um, or instead of having a restore partition, some computers come with a restore disk, which is also wonderful unless you've lost it, in which case you're kind of out of luck, and oftentimes the uh, manufacturer won't provide you with an extra disk. So, um, you know, it's, it's really kind of a hassle. And in the case of this computer, um, it's essentially rendered useless because unless you know somebody's willing to volunteer a lot of time reinstalling everything from scratch and taking hours and hours over multiple days you've got a computer that basically nobody is willing to fix and most people won't work for free so even if you paid somebody you know 50 60 bucks an hour to do some work to rebuild one you're gonna be out hundreds of dollars you know so these older computers now of the Windows XP vintage are um, really not of much use. Now the only way that a person can make them useful 
and you know useful beyond the point at which they'd crashed is if you have an image of the computers so let's say somebody brings to you a Dell Latitude you know D600 and you happen to have an image of that computer with kind of some stock um, you know the, the basic drivers and the operating system and everything well then you know in about 15 or 20 minutes you can restore the entire computer but absent of that you're looking at a lengthy process and I'm only at the beginning of this and this is already part seven of what's probably going to be you know like 12 parts or 14 13 15 parts of eight to ten minute videos you know showing you how to do all this stuff so um, anyway it's it's beginning to the, get to the point where it really just isn't practical to have a Windows XP computer for the average person you know again as long as it's working it's fine but it's like a car without a spare tire you know all it takes is one virus one corrupted operating system event and um, and it's pretty much totaled so you know you're not really doing somebody a favor by giving them one of these computers or recommending one because um, you're putting them in a situation where they're going to be entirely dependent on you or some other IT person to keep that thing running so anyway again I'm gonna have to pause the video and just to give you an idea of how much time this is taking it's um, right now about 1037 in the evening and so uh, I'm gonna pause this and then we'll come back and you know take off but it's probably gonna take about 20 minutes to 40 minutes to get this service pack 2 installed um, so okay so fast forward in time again and um, as promised it was about 20 minutes to get that service pack installed so it's 1054 right now I don't know if you can see that on the clock but um, the service pack just finished as I was checking in on the computer so it's about 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to go ahead and um, click on finish. It's going to restart the computer. And the rest of this uh, process I'm going to have in future updates to this series. So uh, for now I'm going to close out this particular installment in the series and we'll continue again tomorrow. And uh, again, as I say, it takes often many days to get this done because a lot of, there's a lot of time just kind of waiting for processes to finish for downloads to complete for the service packs to install um, it's a pretty lengthy process so anyway appreciate you hanging in there with me and I hope it's of interest to you I'm trying to add some additional insights and thoughts uh, and comments along the way here as we're waiting so see you in the next video